uh, with the digital world kind of emerging out of the Seattle area, that certainly changed the landscape. So we're feeling a lot more influences from not only North Americans, but Asia, from India, from Europe, and it, and it changes the city. For the better, I think. Georgetown. I think Georgetown is a fascinating corner, but that culture is changing a little bit. Hey! Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Yeah. We worked with Charles and he found this building, which was an old Dr. Pepper bottling plant. And he wanted to know, can I make a cool place out of this? And you see that a lot happening in Georgetown too. I hope general. I hope more actually, because I, you know, in the past, maybe you would see uh, these old buildings People thought they were throwaway buildings because they were ugly. I just don't think they're ugly. I think they're already built. They're already built. You know, they got all this embodied energy in them. This room was full of junk. And what we did was we came in here, we took it all out, we put in new windows, we opened up the ceiling, we uh, sanded the existing floor, and we brought in some furniture. Simple, straightforward, and it becomes a beautiful room. <laughs> How are you? Doing fine. Good to see you. Good seeing you. What are you drinking tonight? Uh, Bodhi. Okay. Uh, I think with Georgetown, I think the, the community is really aware of what's going on. They're really sensitive to what's going on. You're not going to have a million dollar fund in the building in the middle of Georgetown. I think you're probably right. Yeah. To Seattle. To Seattle. Well, the Chapel of St. Ignatius is very, very special, meditative, um, sacred building on the Seattle University campus. When you walk inside that space and you feel the volume and how the daylighting is, is uh, sort of drifting into that, into that chapel, it's a, it's a very special place and a very special moment. And Seattle is lucky to have something like that. The mechanical influence is frankly an influence from my childhood. I was much more interested in the hard sciences. My sixth grade teacher, my math science teacher, Mr. McDougall, what he did for me was take maybe my poetic side and my rational side and he brought them together. And ideally, architecture is in fact the intersection of the rational and the poetic. At this moment in Seattle's history, what makes it so interesting, I think it's always been there. I think because we are on the edge of the continent, and if you are in the nest, you're looking to that horizon line, you're looking west, you're looking at kind of an infinite edge in a way. And I think Seattle has always had that sort of underlying energy. Those are the people, that, they're the adventurers, the people that come to Seattle, but I think it has a little bit to do with that entrepreneurial spirit, the spirit of, of being on the edge.